Hey y'all, oh, welcome back to our channel. Well, welcome if you're new. If you are new, we'd like to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hang around with us because we're gardening season two. And we'd like for you to come along with us on this journey to self-sustainability. Yes, there's dance costumes behind me. I'm in our bonus room, which part of it is a dance studio, as I'm a dance teacher. If you're interested in that, I will link my channel below where I talk about all things dance, if you're interested in that. If not, let's get into some plants. All right. I don't remember if I told y'all or not. I know I didn't post last week. I apologize for that. It's just been kind of crazy around here. But if you don't know, or if I didn't tell you, during the ice storm that we had back in February, I had put all of our starts in our laundry room on top of the washing machine under the fluorescent light next to the furnace so they could be warm and have light. And they fell off the washing machine. So I'm not even sure, like this tomato, I'm not sure it's a Castelludo Florentino. It may be a super sweet or a San Marzano Lungo number two. I have no idea. But these are the tomatoes that survived the fall <laughs> and are going strong here. We're going to be transplanting them in a few weeks. We did lose some of our plants. We lost all of our onions. So I don't know what I'm going to do about onions. I may try to start some more here over the next week and see if I can maybe get a late harvest of onions. I don't know. It's been crazy here for the past month. My um, my parents lost power and water, and they still, their water is still, I mean, they have water, but the pressure is like maybe 80% or something, and they're still not allowed to drink it. It still hasn't been okay to, to drink. So they've been coming over to our house, to do like laundry and that kind of thing so yeah and then they just found out that one of the pipes like one of the main water pipes under their house is possibly collapsed it's full of mud I know my nails are terrible don't look at them um, anyway it's possibly has collapsed it's full of mud and they're gonna have to have a plumber come out dig under their house and remove that length of pipe and replace it so, like I said, they've been doing laundry over here. But anyway, uh, which is another reason why I didn't post last week because it's just been a lot of craziness going on. But we're going to come outside. It's bright. And look at some plants. We lost our citrus plants and they got left outside during the freeze. So they're, yeah, they're gone. I don't know. They're still green. They may come back. We'll see. Anyway, let's go in the backyard. Let's go in the backyard. We've still got to get this bed together here. My husband needs to redo these um, boards and put in the soil and mix it around with the leaves. So there's nothing planted in here right now. But, I have planted some stuff over here, and the leaves keep getting blown down on top of everything. So, I've been coming out here usually about once a day, and just kind of removing excess leaves from here, just to kind of help anything that has maybe started sprouting, which we do have some sprouts. I'll show you those as we go through the beds. Like here, see? There's one right there, where is it? Right there, see, I have some kale. I think that's kale. I hope that's kale. <laughs> if it's not, it's a weed. Um, but anyway, just trying to help out here and the reason I think it's kale is because there's one here there's some here and then there's one here 
and that's what I planted here was ragged jack kale. So I don't remember what was in this row. I think it's more kale. It's a different variety of kale. But again, just trying to. It's only been about a week since I planted everything. A little, yeah, about a week since I planted everything. So, or maybe it's been two weeks. It's been two weeks since I planted everything. But my dumb self didn't water as much as I should have. So, we have some coming up here. Right there. So we do have some stuff coming up. Um, I don't remember what I planted here. <laughs> I have it written down. Don't worry, I do have it written down. All right, here's some more kale that I have planted. I don't remember what kind this is. I don't know. And then in this row, I planted some spinach. It hasn't popped up yet. But that could take a couple weeks to pop up. And then I have some cabbages that have popped up here, but they've already started getting eaten by bugs. And that is disheartening. <sighs> Sometimes I just don't know what to do. All you can do is try, right? Just keep planting year after year. Eventually something will take. We had pretty decent was shard season last year. Didn't get much of anything else. Got a couple of tomatoes and some peppers. But main growing season hasn't started yet. We have all of our tomatoes start. I'm not going to grow peppers this year, I don't think. Um, but, oh, here's our garlic. garlic. It's probably ready to come out. Has it overwintered nicely? Even surviving the ice storm that we had. But anyway, that's kind of just our little update. Let you know what's going on on the farm. And it's not really a farm. We live in the city. But it's our little urban farm. We'd love for you to join us on our um, road to self-sustainability. So please make sure you click that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and please share our videos with anyone you think would be interested in our journey. Alright, we will see y'all next time. Bye!